Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Skyblock 3 Departed mod pack. We're going to be using the Twitch launcher or Twitch app in order to do that because that's just how you install all these mod packs. And on top of that, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to set up a Skyblock Departed 3 mod pack, you can do it with Apex Minecraft Hosting using the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. Apex makes setting up a server very, very easy with so many different mod packs with just one click click installation to get them installed. Yes, you heard that right. You just click once and it's installed. That's it. It's, it's like three clicks, right? You click, you select the mod pack, then you click OK, and then you start the server. That's how easy it is to get an Apex server up and running with a mod pack. So if you want a modded server to play Skyblock Departed 3 with your friends, you can check it out in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing you want to do to download Skyblock 3 Departed is um, basically go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is the download page for the Twitch app, but you just want to click on download for Windows here and then go ahead and download the bottom left and then once the download is complete if I minimize my browser here here it is on my desktop this isn't on your desktop it's in your downloads folder just click the little windows icon it's in the top left for me bottom left of your screen that little windows icon in the bottom left click on that type in downloads you have this downloads file folder in windows and then once you click on that it'll be in here you can drag it to your desktop just for ease of use now once the twitch setup is on your desktop double click on it and it will go ahead and install just like any other program you click install here you go through you might have to agree some things so on and so forth if you don't that's fine it just opens right on up like this now you will need a twitch account in order to you know use the twitch app so you do need to create a twitch account it's 100 percent free to do that but you need the twitch account in order to play skyblock 3 departed so let's go ahead and click continue here for me you'll probably have to log into your switch account but boom there we are i am now logged into twitch once you're here you want to go ahead and click on mods over here so you see where it says mods in the top bar then click on minecraft now for you minecraft might not be you know all green and perfect it might be grayed out and if it is just click on it you will have a install button on minecraft whenever you do click on it kind of like scan now but it'll be install and it'll be in the center of your screen click on that and then you will land on a page like this except there won't be any mod packs here now what you want to do is click on browse mod packs and then you want to search right over here for skyblock 3 departed so skyblock 3 departed right like so and it should come up there it is skyblock modern skyblock 3 departed go ahead and click install and it will go ahead and start installing it's that simple and that easy to install modern skyblock 3 departed and minecraft so it's going to go through do all that stuff it's going to take a minute i mean it is installing hundreds of mods here to get everything set up for this mod pack and uh once it's done i will see you as you can see 240 mods once it's done that on those 240 mods i will see you to finish this tutorial all right as we can actually see here now the uh, mod pack has installed there's this purple play button on it you can also click on my mod packs and here it is as you can see it's skyblock 3 departed Go ahead and click play on it and it will basically launch right on up now the minecraft launcher might do some weird things here it might go ahead and like you know download some stuff for that and all that stuff and if it does that's perfectly fine this is exactly what it is supposed to do and uh, you will need to log into your minecraft account so this is the same account that you use on minecraft.net to log in or the normal minecraft launcher that's because this is the normal minecraft launcher so i'm going to go ahead and log in here real quick and then we will be able to uh play the mod pack there we go now we can log right on in and boom here we are now as you can see, if we click on the installations tab up here at the top, we do have this departed profile here. If you don't have this, just close out of the launcher and click play on modern Skyblock 3 again. And now it will open up. You can click on installations and you'll have this departed tab here. Go ahead and click play on that departed tab. And just like that, modern Skyblock 3 departed will uh, open up and you'll be, you'll be good to go. You'll be playing the game. Now, if you do have any issues during startup, if it does crash during startup, so on and so forth, you might just need to add more RAM to it. So let's go ahead and make that happen. So let's say it does, it goes non responding and then it starts to crash and it just kind of like, you know, closes out. I'm actually going to have to like force quit this, it looks like, in order to make this, make this crash out. It seems to be pretty stable, not wanting to actually crash, but I, I don't take no for an answer, everybody. I don't take no for an answer. Okay, so let me go ahead and make this crash real quick. Where are we at here? There it goes. Okay, it just closed out. So now, let's say it did crash. It does that, right? If that's the case, come back to the Minecraft launcher here in the same way, right? Click play on the departed mod pack here. Come back to the Minecraft launcher, and then once you are in the Minecraft launcher, click on installations, and then click these three arrows next to the departed tab. Then click on edit. 
Now come over here to uh, where it says more options right down here, and then you'll be able to upgrade the RAM. So as you can see, XMX 3228M basically means three point or basically means three gigabytes of RAM is dedicated to this mod pack. I'm gonna go a little crazy and go to six. You shouldn't need six for this one. I don't think probably about four should suffice, but six is definitely gonna be okay. I'm also gonna change my resolution just so you all can see better. Then we can click save, click play again on this, and finally it will open up. You now know how to add RAM to the mod pack. I always like to mention that because that is usually 90% of the time what an issue of with a mod pack is. It's just a simple RAM issue. And so there we go. We now know how to add more RAM. And as you can see, the screen is bigger. You all can see it better. And I will go ahead and I guess just do a jump cut while this is opening up. Now it could take literally half an hour for this to open up. Who knows exactly how long it's going to be because it's taking and loading over 250 mods. So it's going to take time. And when it is finished, you'll be able to play the game and be good to go. And here we are. Modern Skyblock Departed 3 or Modern Skyblock 3 Departed is now set up. As you can see, we are on the main menu. I don't think there's any denying that. I love this. is a beautiful custom main menu, if I must say so myself. I am going to go ahead and create a new single player world. One of the things is, uh, you know, you can do all these different kind of world types. You can do void islands you can do you know great wall garden of glass void all that stuff so by default it was a uh, void question mark right so that's what we're going to do type void question mark world creates a world based on the void island control configs so there is all of that here i am going to allow cheats and just go into creative mode because I'm, I'm i'm bad at skyblock games i always die very very quickly in these tutorials and it's kind of funny but still nevertheless i'm just going to go into creative so let this start on up now one of the things it might have went not responding in the beginning like when you were starting this like in during your startup process it could have went not responding if that's the case that's okay um it's just kind of part of it however it could also uh, go not responding you're like loading a world or something like that again that's fine as long as you just let it sit there for a second and work it out and it'll eventually get the world set up. So I'm gonna do a quick jump cut until this world is set up and then we'll be done and good to go. And there we go, we are now set up. As you can see, we are just in literally a void world here. And uh, I believe if we go ahead and click that, yes, this will give us quests and basically things to work through the game here. So yeah, that's basically that. Hope you enjoy Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. This has been How to Get Modern Skyblock 3 Departed. And if you want to play just on a normal Skyblock server, come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com. We have an incredible custom Skyblock server with over 100 players on it every single day. We've also got incredible survival servers over there. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. All the information is in the description. It is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, guaranteed. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.